So great to meet you, ladies. How's it going today? Hi, good. How are you? I'm Doing great. Well, thanks. Good, good. I'm great. Um, congratulations on the series. Uh, I was lucky enough to be able to watch this about three months ago when I got it in my inbox, my secret inbox from Netflix. And I loved it because I am a huge Kristen Hanna fan. And this is one of my favorite books. So Ali, let's start with you. Had you read the book? Were you, did you know anything about it? Yeah, so I actually, I hadn't read the book um, before hearing about the project. But once I started to get more involved, I bought the book and then I read it. And um, I fell in love with it instantly. She's, you know, an incredible author and, and the story is so authentic and, and very real. And I loved it from like the first three pages. I was already in love. So. Yeah. And Rowan, how about you? Yeah, I, um, I hadn't read the book beforehand, but I also just read it and was totally in love. I don't think I've ever cried so hard reading a book before. And at, like at multiple points too, like it had me like laughing and then crying. My boyfriend was like, are you okay? And I was like, no, I'm just feeling a lot of things right now. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's one of those for sure. Now, Ali, I want to ask you because a lot of times when somebody is playing uh, somebody younger of a character, they don't often meet them. So I wanted to know from the two of you, did you get to meet uh, uh, yeah, your, your, your fellow, your well, your co-stars, but not really your co-stars, but Catherine and Sarah. Uh, Ali, start with you because then perhaps maybe they could have gotten your mannerisms and used them as they got older with the characters. Was was that the case with this show? Yeah, so we had about a week or a little over a week of pre-production where we met everybody um, and we all kind of talked through general ideas about the character and little things that I could do in the 70s that they could also do in the 2000s that could, you know, make it pretty obvious that we're playing the same character. And um, me and Rowan also got to see kind of throughout um, as we filmed each episode and got further along in the show, um, some scenes that both Sarah and Catherine had filmed. So we would watch those and um, kind of just study what they were doing and, and pick up little things that, that they were doing that then we could do. And so that was also really, really helpful, but we did meet them and they're lovely. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely are. Rona, what was it like for you to be able to watch Sarah, you know, act and then uh, discuss things with her perhaps? Oh my gosh. It was like, it was a dream come true. I actually was just doing interviews with her earlier today. And I'm like, I was trying really hard not to fangirl too hard because I'm just like, I love her so much. And I, and I've spent a large portion of my life watching her on TV. So it was like, it was, it felt like big shoes to, to like kind of co- Phil. Um, and so it was, yeah, it was, it was amazing kind of getting to work with somebody that I've spent so much of my life, like really looking up to. I think that she's such a gifted comedic actress, but also has like such a depth to, to her, to her skill. And, and I think that she's an equally fantastic dramatic actor yeah. and um, yeah. And it was so, it was such a dream come true to get to like co-create a character with a, a real, like a real yeah. role model of mine. Oh, that's amazing. And Ali, how about yeah. for you, Catherine Heigl? I mean, come on, really. Like, and I'm sure people have told you, boy, the resemblance is insane. Like, I honestly thought you were a younger Catherine Heigl. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I, I feel like I couldn't see it myself so much in the beginning, but then we both had our hair and um, the more time I spent with her and, and saw pictures of us side by side, I was like, okay, yeah, I can see a lot of different resemblances and um I mean I absolutely adore her her I've watched probably every single one of her movies twice um and <laughs> so, same thing I've tried really hard to keep my cool didn't do it very often but tried my best so that well, was great you did it you did both did such a great uh, great job now Rowan I have to ask you I mean this this move this show is definitely about friendship no question these women their their friendship has gone on for three decades it's insane and you know sometimes you wonder why they're together but I was wondering if by any chance you had a friend or a best friend that you your relationship that you drew on to play her Completely. Um, I mean, most of my best friends now I've known for upwards of 10 years. I'm 24 now. I, I, and most of my best friends I met um, at the same age that Tully and Kate meet at 14. Um, so it was actually really amazing to be able to kind of draw from um, all of those friendships. I mean, there's about four or five of us who are still like absolutely inseparable and we've moved different places and we've we've all got different careers and we're all doing different things but we're still like as, as soon as we all get back together it's like no time has passed and and it's crazy it's it's like we kind of we met at this really tender age and I feel like you know you kind of go one of two ways you either grow together or apart and yeah. I am so I feel so fortunate to have been able to grow with these women and, and I look at them now and I love them just as much if not more 
than I did when we were 14 and we were kind of like running around together, basically like helping to raise each other because like at that age, you know, friendship is, is like your friends are your whole world. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, it was so amazing to kind of also just go back in time a little bit and get to like re-explore friendship in that time where it, it's almost like falling in love for the first time where you're just like so infatuated with somebody. Absolutely. And I have to mention mm -hmm. those glasses. I don't know how you kept them on all that time. The oh my God. Glasses I've ever those seen. were hilarious. <laughs> I know there's actually those glasses. It's really funny. Um, I was, I was kind of, I, I was presented with a tray um, of like very, all very dorky 70s glasses. Um, and I, of course, naturally gravitated towards the biggest goggles on there um and then I was informed later on that they're actually vintage Dior Ooh. and they are the most ex they were the most expensive glasses on the tray okay. and I was like I would pick <laughs> you have excellent taste okay lastly Thank Ali you. I'm going to wrap it with you um with Tully being a budding journalist at your age in the show what would be the one question that you want to ask Roan right now that fans would want to know about this show? Oh, what good question. Um, one question I would ask Roan. <laughs> That's such a good question. I would probably ask um, what, if she had any like really funny stories from set, like any really unique, um, kind of funny stories from, from filming. Okay, Roan, answer. Um, I would say I, definitely lots. One that sticks out in my mind is like a true Kate moment for me is we were at the table read um, and everyone from Netflix was there and, um, and all the actors and all the producers and the director were all there and I was so nervous and we were all going around the table. I'm seated next to Sarah Chalk across from Katherine Heigl and Allie and um, we're going around the table and everyone's saying their name and who they play and it gets to me and I'm like you know how like when you're like going around a table in school maybe and like you're all saying your name and like something fun about you you're like kind of rehearsing it in your head and I was like okay I'm Ron Curtis and I'm playing young Kate and it gets to me and I go I'm Ron Curtis and I'm playing young Tully and everyone's like uh and I was like uh I mean um I know what character I'm playing I promise and it was the most horrified I think I turned like lobster red and it was like and and somebody like I heard somebody be like yep that's Kate <laughs> well there you go you see we're already yeah. there well look congratulations yeah. to the two of you on this series it is so so good I really hope we get another season of this because I want to do more adventures with these girls but what a pleasure and you both are doing Canada so proud might I ask we are might I say we we are very proud of both of you ladies here in Canada so thank you for your time today <laughs> thank you so much you're welcome take care and have a great take one take care bye-bye